Hi everyone, this is Christina from Pretty in Pink Supply and today I'm gonna show you how to add faux leather to your resin clips. Look how cute these came out. So, the things that you're gonna need, we're gonna need our rectangle silicone mold and then on the website we have an SVG um, that you can purchase and it will cut out the faux leather to the exact size you need, okay? Um, you're gonna also need some clips. We're using our gold rectangle clip today. You're gonna need a lamp if you are using UV resin, and you don't even need it if you're using UV. You can always put it outside to cure. Um, you're gonna also need a heat gun, some gloves. I have my stir stick just to kind of help spread it out, and I'll, you'll understand once we get going and everything that you'll need to do. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with our resin. And what I like to do with my um, UV resin is I like to hold it upside down just for a few seconds to allow the any bubbles to rise to the top so that way they're not the first thing out of my nozzle when I start putting it in. Um, so what you're going to want to do first is just do a little layer, like a thin layer, and make sure you cover all of the bottom, okay? So a thin layer on the bottom of your mold, okay, where you're going to put your clip. Make sure it's all filled in. And when you have enough in there, just grab, I'm using my silicone stick and I'm just gonna kind of spread it out to make sure that there's no um, parts that are not filled in with the resin, okay? If there's any bubbles, you can kind of pop those because um, this is gonna be our back side. Normally that's your front side. The bottom is your front side when you pop it out, but today with the faux leather, that's gonna be our back side. So keep that in mind. So just kind of make sure everything is even and leveled out. And if you wanted to run it, run over with your um, heat gun really quick just to get out any bubbles, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna do that just really quick, kind of thin it out. All right. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see from the camera, but there's like a few gaps like right here. And so you, wanna, you don't wanna have gaps like that. You wanna make sure everything is filled in even if it's our back, you still want it to look somewhat decent. Um, the clip is going to cover it, so if it doesn't look perfect, it's okay. Um, it's gonna get covered anyways. And I'll show you in a second my back of the ones I did already. Alrighty, so that looks more evened out. Um, if you can, with your stick, you just wanna kind of brush a little bit up on the sides. And that looks good. All right, so let me show you the back of this one. So you can't even tell, but there might there was like a little bubble right there. Just a few bubbles, but it is the back, so you, I mean, it doesn't look bad. So, and your clip will just cover that. Okay, so next I'm going to take my faux leather, and it's already been cut, and I actually didn't show this part, um, but with the SVG that you're gonna use, I just cut mine on a denim bonded setting, and I cut it with my fine point blade. You just do it face down. It's already set to the size, so you don't have to mess with sizing or anything like that, and you just cut. Okay, so your next step is to lay it in there and kind of just push down. And then I like to use my stick as well and just kind of push it in there. Make sure that it's kind of sitting on the bottom nice. If there's any like excess faux leather, it'll start to like come around the sides and you'll kind of see that. So just kind of stick it in there, there we go. And so in the original reel that I did on Instagram, I don't know if you've seen that or not, um, but I put my resin on the top part on the next step, but in this video, so I tried it out again and I feel like it works better if you um, cure the backside first and then go back and do your front. So I have like a little bit of residue up here just from pushing it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for, 30 seconds, or maybe we'll do 60, just to make sure the top part is um, cured. And then I'm gonna flip it, allow that to be cured for three minutes on the back side, and then I'm gonna pull it back out and we will add our top layer. And we're gonna give it kind of like a domed effect. So it's not, um, so it's not like, normally your back sides are like more flat. So this is gonna be more like beveled, if that makes sense. Okay, so the top part is good. I'm just gonna flip it and allow the back side to cure. And like I said, I'm gonna do it for three minutes. Um, so once my 60 seconds is up, I'll just do it two more times after that. Okay, so my backside is cured. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add the top layer. So let me just allow this to, I'm like almost out of my resin again. Um, all right, so you're just gonna wanna start in one corner and slowly fill the whole thing in. And the slower you go, this will help like prevent less bubbles and stuff like that. So, and just go back and forth in a slow motion. You wanna make sure there's no gaps left. And just fill it enough to slightly like be taller than the, um, the mold. So it, like it's almost raised up a little bit. I think people call it like a domed effect where it looks more domed. Alrighty, so that looks good. I do have, where's my little pin at? I had a little pen. here we go. So this pin is going to, I'm just gonna use this to get um, a few of the bubbles out. So you don't necessarily want to use your heat gun on this part because, because it's higher than your, um, your mold if you like blow it, it's just gonna like overflow and then you're gonna have runoff all over the place. So a little bit better just to go in and just kind of pop the bubbles with a needle or a pin or something like this. Okay, so I think this one is good to go. It looks like I filled in all my gaps great and I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it under there for, let me see, we'll do this, the top layer, it's a little bit thicker for four minutes. Okay, so it's been in there for three minutes and I just wanna show you really quick. So it tends to do this where it kind of bows up because of the faux leather. So what I do is I just gently pull it back down and this is after it's been in there for three minutes, okay? Um, that way it kind of straightens out and then I just throw it back in there for another minute just to allow it to harden for a little bit longer. Um, but they do come out straight if you just do that a few times. Not even a few times. If you do that once and then when you're ready to glue, it looks nice and straight once it's on there. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Okay, so our light is done. And we're just going to pop it out. And look how it came out. So I have a little bit of run over right there and you can just use like an X-Acto knife or a, um, if you have scissors, you can use that. You can kind of see the back. So a little bit of the back just had like a little air bubble right there, but it's not bad. So let me grab my scissors. I don't have, I do have an X-Acto knife. I don't know where it's at right now, but I'm just gonna trim off that little bit of excess resin. Um, but the X-Acto knife might be a little bit better to do it with if you have one. So look how nice that came out. So next, do so you see the back? See the sides, how it grabbed all the sides? And that was because I brushed, um, I brushed the sides up with my little stick before I put in my faux leather, okay? So if it starts to bow at all, just kind of push it back, allow it to straighten out. See that? All right, so this is ready to be attached to our clip. So I'm gonna be using um, the Gorilla Super Glue with the brush, okay? That just allows us to brush it onto our clip without having to like use that little nozzle. It makes it a lot easier. So I brush it along the edges and this glue works like really well to attach um, your resin to. It like sticks almost instantly, okay? So make sure when you put it down that it's exactly where you want it because you're gonna have a hard time moving it. All right, so my clip is on and it takes about 10 to 15 seconds to dry. It's not bad, but it does like grip it right away. So keep that in mind. So when you're setting it on there that you get it nice and straight and exactly how you want it. And there is my clip. So if you guys have any questions about these, if I missed anything, I hope, hopefully I covered everything, but if I missed anything, definitely let me know. Um, but they came, they come out super cute. And then like the possibilities with like the different full others you can put on there are endless. There's so many different types of patterns that you can work with, themes that you can make, so much fun stuff. So definitely let me know in the comments if you have any questions and thank you guys as always for watching. And if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.